Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back, man. I You can tell I literally just turned this fucking camera on and then I'm like, oh, wait a minute, it's dirty. Anyways, welcome back, guys. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Mexico. I know, it's everyone's favorite subject. But actually, we're going to be talking about what it really means to live here. What it really means to live abroad and all that situation. Because... I just came to a realization that, you know, sure, there's a lot of you guys out there, tons of you guys. Obviously, I could tell from my videos and other people's videos talking about these subjects of uh, living out here or living abroad. And this is a popular topic, but I think I just realized why most of you guys just don't go through with it. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of reasons. It's a lot of, definitely a lot of reasons as to you know why you guys don't do it but on top of that it's like you know what it really means to live out here to live this kind of life and all that situation so that's what we're going to be talking about today because i feel like it's a very 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 important topic that we should all be discussing now i know my audience is very is very broad you know meaning i got i got people you know watching this from all age groups and uh, both sexes and all that stuff but when it comes down to it when you're, you know, like the, the, the people out there that are the older generation, I guess, you know, the ones that are, you know, retired or with pensions and all this stuff. For you guys, at the end of the day, why you're making the move out here is something very similar to like why I made my move out here. It was just financial reasons more than anything else. There's a lot of reasons, but basically it came down to like financial reasons and it came down to quality of life. And that's it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, obviously, you know, there's a billion other videos of mine talking about all these subjects, but that's basically it. Now, everybody else out there, for the most part, why you, you know, want to move out here, it, it varies. It just varies so fucking much from person to person. But, again, what we're going to be discussing, all right, let me not fall through this hole here, but what we're really going to be discussing is... Well, how come most people don't make that move? And why is it so hard for most people to make that move? Well, this weekend, I'm going to be actually helping out a friend of mine move. Someone that's, you know, just moved here in Mexico. A friend of mine, you know, from one place to the other. And, uh, and you know, they were telling me, it's like, oh, I have... Um, I have so much stuff I gotta move and I got so many things that I gotta, you know, get rid of and you really don't realize how much crap you have until, you know, you gotta move. You already know that conversation. I'm sure you guys have had it many times before. And so, you know, when, we're, when we were talking about that, it made me realize, I was like, oh yeah, that's why. That's basically why, because again, she's just moving from one part of town to another and you know, it's a difficult process. Just like how we were talking before in one of my episodes as to like, you know, it's it's difficult for you guys to move from one point of the city to the other. I can't imagine moving to a whole other country, a whole other culture, a whole other, you know, completely different uh, everything. I get that. So, then, you know, now we're going to dissect a little bit as to why. You know, why is it so difficult? And it's because it is difficult. It's fucking incredibly difficult. No matter what. And uh, it's, it all comes down to the whole comfort thing. And sure, you know, you might be hating your job, you might be hating your situation, you might be hating a lot of things about your life right now, but you don't hate it to the point where you're gonna be making that move. Maybe you are. Maybe a lot of you guys, I think you guys are. We talk about this shit. But in reality, you know, it's just not that bad yet, you know, for you to make that move. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, again, is it because society today, especially most of you guys watching this, you know, makes it so comfortable. No matter how shitty it is, they make it so comfortable where when you decide to like make a, you know, make a move like this, you don't. But look, the reality is, is like this. I don't want to be, I'm, I feel like I'm bouncing around, bouncing around really what this is all about. And then the thing is, it's like, it all comes down to minimalism, living a minimalistic life being minimalistic now there's a lot of ways you can get and become minimalistic and live that life but the reality is in order for you to really be able to do these things like i do which is you know being a traveling nomad or being able to pick everything up 
and move you need to be minimalistic you know because I've already been out here in Mexico about a year and I'm starting to accumulate a bunch of shit and um, I'm a minimalistic kind of guy you know I mean I can fit my whole life in a couple suitcases you know but yet you know I didn't get that way um, it took me a while I've always been very minimalistic you know um, even even when I when I had stuff I was pretty minimalistic and to me you know getting rid of stuff and can changing my whole outlook and mindset is is not necessarily that difficult but I know it is for a lot of people and uh, you know what it really truly means to live out here more than anything else is being able to live that minimalistic life you know you have to make a lot of fucking changes out there in order to be living the way I live now again you can come out here literally to Merida where I'm living man I'm sorry man it's really windy today I mean it's windy good because it's so hot but I hope you guys can hear me I sincerely apologize if you can ahead of time as always but the reality is is that you gotta you gotta start making some changes out there oh yeah yeah I, I feel like I I skipped ahead there but you know uh, as I feel like I, sk I skipped ahead in what I was saying um, yeah so you can come out here just like you can go to any other part of the world for the most part and uh, continue living exactly how you're living in the US I mean for reals no matter where you go but the thing is that once you start living exactly like how you're used to living back home then that's when things start getting expensive and you know a lot of people they might come out here or they might come out to other places you know they literally other places around uh, the world thinking that everything is gonna be cheaper the they're gonna be able to have every single fucking thing that they have back in the States for cheaper and shit like that but then they quickly realize that not really in order for things to get cheaper you got to make a lot of changes in your own life as well so again like right now if you guys have noticed my car of choice you know my car of choice is uh chevro legs see look i got the latest model there's a 1981 chevro legs all right so i got myself a 1981 chevro legs you know to get my get, get myself around the city um i haven't even gotten the fucking bicycle yet that's how fucking minimalistic and how many little funds I've had since I've been here. Sure, I can get one for like 50 bucks. But 50 bucks is a lot of money right now for me. And so either A, I'm going to let something like that deter me and then allow me to live out here and do the things I want to do. Or it's not. And it's not. You know what I mean? It's not. I, like I'm out here living my best fucking life. But it's because... I've decided to you know make a lot of changes so I don't have a car I don't have transportation I walk everywhere if I need to go somewhere a little further I'll take a bus or I'll take an uber or whatever now the thing is that a lot of times we try to make a lot of these changes back in our first world countries and they don't really help much you know what I mean like it, 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 you can't really like abandon your car and decide to take the bus when you're living in Los Angeles and you got two jobs to get to and each job is like over about an hour's drive to get to or half an hour drive or whatever it is because again if you're taking the bus it's probably not as safe number one and number two it's going to take you a lot longer and when you're already like working 18 hours a day you know every second counts so then that's when people are like oh I got to get a car I got to this I got to that and then like all these things accumulate it's really hard and then if you're going to be living minimalistic, really, in the U.S., uh, you're pretty much living on the street. Or some variation of that, you know, where you're, it's so crazy poor, you might as well be living in a country like this, you know. Again, you know, um, it, it, my choices of living in the U.S., my, cho my choices of living conditions in the U.S. are all worse than anything I could find out here. And so that's why I'm out here. So again, for some of us, it's pretty easy to become minimalistic, to drop some of our needs, to um, not spend so much on certain things and so on and so forth. But you know, there's a lot of people out there 
that you know they're sitting in their in their cubicles you know right now with their job that they fucking hate and they want to change their life and they want to move to a place like this and yet they spend you know five to ten dollars per day on starbucks they spend uh they spend a lot of money on uh on other bullshit you know they're probably watching game of thrones playing video games and doing all these other things that are not going to help you get to this life in order for me to truly enjoy you know me living out here i'm not you know i'm not wasting my time playing video games i'm not wasting my time you know doing other frivolous shit i'm out here actually living life you know um I gotta walk everywhere, so I decide, you know what, I'm gonna grab my camera and I'm gonna use this as uh, an excuse to film videos every day. And it's again, you gotta change your way of thinking and your mindset. That's really what it really means to live abroad. You know, not just here, but anywhere or everywhere. Anywhere you wanna live. It's like a, 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 it's a, such a mind change, such a change that, that comes with, uh, with all this that if you don't make it and embrace it you're not going to survive this is not for you and that's basically it man it's hot but really what it comes down to you know when, when it comes down to it it's basically having to you know it's basically just getting rid of all all right hold on let me get in front of these so you know like uh, basically when it comes down to it it's just getting rid of all these comforts that you've grown accustomed to your whole life and um and creating new ones and creating new ones and that's it it's as simple as that so like for example i have a, I, I, I can literally be in my house with ac all day long but the reason i'm not is because it costs a lot of fucking money. Also, not only does it cost a lot of fucking money, but it basically, it adds comfort. And that's something I kind of don't want right now because I talk to you guys about this all the time. In order to make magic happen, you gotta be uncomfortable. So I, I myself am putting myself in these positions, you know? I could do a lot more to make more money. I could do a lot more to make myself way more comfortable. But then if I'm doing that, then I'm not doing this. You feel me? So it's it's like, one, you know, you, you gotta, it's all about balance. And so I have decided to put myself in uncomfortable situations. I have decided to, you know, embrace all this. I have decided to use, you know, all of this stuff in order to, um, you know, continue growing. And not just growing, but becoming the best person that I can possibly be. And that's because I've made these conscious decisions to do that. A lot of people don't want to do a lot of the things that I'm doing. So that's why, you know, they, they might look at me and this might look like awesome. But when it comes down to, all right, this is, these are the things, the steps that you got to do in order to get here. Most people don't want to do it because they don't want it bad enough. And that's totally fine. I get that, you know. Um, but the reality is, you know, what it really, really, really means to live here, to live abroad, to live anywhere outside of uh, the comforts that you guys are already used to. It literally means that you got to change your whole perspective on things. You got to change, man, it's so loud, so fucking loud. Look at that, we got a generator. Been pumping that crap but yeah like um, as I was saying I feel like uh, I feel like the, uh, you know what I really I think I'm gonna be needing a windsock I know I know I've been fucking around with all that shit this whole time but I think I'm gonna have to get a windsock for real and I, I can just make my own windsock but see look that comes down to the comfort in there I, I, I should be, you know, I, I should not have been making fun of the whole windsock situation all this time and actually should have uh, come up with a solution. There's no reason for me not to. I know exactly what I can do in order to fix a windsock, the wind situation with my videos, but I, I haven't. So, you know, why do I, why am I even bringing this thing up right here? It's just to let you guys know I'm human, just like all of you guys. We're all human. I'm not here to fucking tell you, you know, um, 
that you suck for not wanting to do this or that. I'm just kind of like putting it out there. I'm, I'm really telling you guys the truth that again, if you want to live out here or you want to have a life, you know, outside of what you're used to, you got to make a lot of fucking changes. It's as simple as that. You got to make these changes. Because if you don't, it's going to, it's going to suck for you. So, you know, for example, you know, like um, making these changes and living out here is not like a horrible, horrible thing for me because, you know, when I, when, when I, when it comes down to it, you know, my, my alternative, my alternative is kind of sucking. And I think for a lot of you guys out there, you know, that's why you guys look at these videos or you guys are interested in, in wanting to live abroad is simply because your situation is pretty shitty and sucky and you look at everything around here and you know to to the untrained eye it might look like it's shitty and sucky but to the trained eye you realize like holy shit look at all this awesomeness that is here you know look at all this cool shit that we have out here and again it's not just here everyone has different countries and different areas that you know they want to live in you know i'm not a big asia guy but there's a lot of people out there that, that choose asia instead of here i choose here because I, I, i'm fucking hispanic i'm latin i like i like this shit you know this wasn't this was more like the kiddie pool for me i i, I could have gone really hardcore and gone straight to fucking asia but i didn't I decided to do and go down like the easy route, the more comfortable route, and that's why I ended up here. Is that whole that whole deal? So you know, just to let you guys know, that's why I tell you guys about Eastern Europe, and I tell you about guys about other parts of the world that they speak English, just like you speak English. So you don't have to make like such a huge transition. Um, you know, again, if you're if you love Asian culture or you love Indian culture or you love all these things then all of a sudden like you know moving to India or Asia or other places is uh, pretty good it doesn't seem like it's a fucking you know like a bad thing same thing for me living out here you know um, in retrospect you know me being out here it's it's fucking awesome it's like one of the best decisions I ever made and why because I'm getting you know I get out here everything I've always wanted and then some and uh, and we've already talked about what those things are, you know, it's just freedom and liberty and, uh, you know, quality of life and all these other things. And um, again, you know, my girl, you know, she makes you know, like an average measly salary around here. She makes something like around maybe 300 US dollars a month. She's happy as fuck. Sure, she's not, you know, I've dated girls out here that make 30, you know, they make like 30 grand US, 30 US grand a month. But again, it's like, it's the same thing, you know, um, just like back in the States. The thing is that when you're here on a very, very, you know, measly salary or measly um, income, you can still fucking live your life. You can still do a lot of things. You can still enjoy life. Where back home, you have a measly salary and you're barely surviving. You barely have enough for rent. So again it's it's about making very 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 difficult decisions and actually following through on them but you know when you get here it doesn't mean that your problems are over or you know or their things are you know all of a sudden everything is gone and and things are going to be easy no it doesn't mean that at all it just means the beginning of a brand new adventure it means the beginning of a brand new chapter in your life and now what are you going to do about it? You know, how are you going to take advantage of all that? How are you going to, um, you know, come out winning? Again, guys, you know, camera shut off. Too much heat, humidity. You already know what's up. You know, all these fire, all these, uh, all these videos are fire, you know? So that's why it keeps happening. But just to come full circle, just to put a, a final ending to this video, to these, uh, to these words that I'm saying here, you got to get out of your comfort zone. That's it. It's as simple as that. Whatever the hell that might mean to you, everyone's a little different. But the reality is, is that you got to get out of that comfort zone. You got to get uncomfortable. You got to get even more uncomfortable before you can start getting comfortable. If you don't do that, you're never going to get out of that. In order for you to really be able to make this move and come out here and live this life and do these things, you got to be incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable. You got to get, you got to take yourself to another level. 
and get even more uncomfortable and embrace that uncomfortable uncomfortability and um and take it head on you know don't look at it like a bad thing look at it as a really 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 good amazing thing because just like i've talked many times before it's like you know you got to get out of that comfort zone you gotta you gotta make these moves you're the one that has to make these changes in order for you to appear and be in a place like this you know i didn't just i mean i basically kind of just landed here but i didn't land here it was a, it was a, a journey it was a process <laughs> how's it going <laughs> it was a journey it was a process for me to freaking get here it's as simple as that and it's it's the more when it gets too comfortable i make it uncomfortable so that i can continue doing this so i can continue living like this you know so i can continue this this journey this this uh this awesomeness that all this really really is and what it entails but in order for me to enjoy this I had to make a lot of drastic changes in my life and eventually all those changes paid off by me you know getting to this point so for example i wouldn't have been able to get here if i was living a regular life if i wasn't already minimalistic if i wasn't already doing certain things it would have been impossible basically you know just like it seems like it is for a lot of you guys out there so in order for you to really embrace that out out there and if you're my age range or younger you gotta be minimalistic. For some of you guys, it's easy because you ain't got shit left. But for some of you guys, for most of you people, this is one of the most difficult things, is uh, changing your whole life from a maximalist life to a minimalist life. And when, uh, when all of a sudden, things like a car or a Rolex or fancy clothes or just bullshit like that are not um, are not your priority anymore and your priorities are living life enjoying life um, doing things with your life then things everything just changes everything just becomes what it's supposed to be so again guys in order for for this is the last time I'm gonna say this but in order for you guys to really be able to enjoy this kind of lifestyle in order for most of you guys to come out here and make this drastic change you need to really make other drastic changes, okay? It's it's all a process, all right? Anyways, I really hope today's video made sense to you guys. I know it was a little all over the place, but that's because I have a lot of things in my head at the moment. Just a lot of work stuff. It has nothing to do, you know, everything's great. But again, guys, it's all up to you, all right? And uh, you, can, you can live this life or a better life or the life that you've always wanted, the dream life but you gotta get uncomfortable before you can get truly comfortable, all right? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please help that guy get a muffler, and um, I'll see you guys manana. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, my Discord, my Twitch, my, you know, my other videos, and so on and so forth. And before you even ask that question out there for any new viewer, hey, have you gone to the beach? Hey, have you gone here? Listen, just check out my my playlist, all right, of all my Mexico videos. And uh, you'll probably find it there. If you don't find it there, then ask, all right? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stay awesome, and I'll see you guys mañana. Laters.